Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our first ever news broadcast show that we're giving a shot here for you. So we've been promis- promising this for quite a while, and so we thought we'd give it a, sh- a shot today. Uh, I'm actually set up over at the uh, Cedar Glade Brewery. i got to give them a shout-out here. I'll put this up here on the screen. i got to give- check these out. If you all like craft beers, there you go. Cedar Glade Brew. It's hard to get this at the angle. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to show that. It says, we sell beer to go on the on the can right there. It's pretty neat. So, But the uh, wonderful team over here at Cedar Glade Brews uh, at the brewery here have uh, been generous enough to let me set up shop in here for right now while no one's here and try this uh, news broadcast for you. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to get to it here in just a second. But uh, uh, if you actually, real quick, if you haven't followed us on Instagram, because I actually did a, a reel about this place here last week, the inside and the brewery in the back and gave a little tour, all that stuff. So it was pretty neat to watch. So if you haven't seen the inside, go follow us on Instagram right there. <laughs> there you go. And uh, you can check it out. So, uh, But uh, anyways, so like I said, we've been promising this newscast for quite a while. So here you go. We're going to do like daily, weekly, every other day. We're going to schedule down uh, news updates with a bunch of the stories because we get a lot of stuff sent to us every single day. And we just can't post it all. Otherwise, there'd be 200 posts a day. And we'd probably annoy everybody. So we're going to try and put some in a newscast like this and get the word out for you. So with that being said, if uh, any of you watching out there or listening on the podcast have um you know, something that you want to send in that you want us to feature and show off, uh, like some of the stories you'll see here in a minute, uh, send it on in. You can go to the website, hit the contact us button, uh, come straight to me. You can email it to john at murphysboro.com or put it in the comments on, on this video or write it in the Facebook page, whatever. It all comes to me and uh, we'll try and get it all out there for you. So, But this being our first one, I just put together a few of these stories to show you some things. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this format. Um, if you want to see, you know, we try and tend to uh, post more of good news versus the bad news, but there is a quote bad news story towards the end, uh, but we'll get to that. And uh, so if you want to, if you want all of the stuff, because we, we do work closely with the police departments and the city of Murphy on the fire departments, etc. So um, if you do want all that news included, let me know. I've only included one here in the end. And so we'll get to that here in a second. But here we go. To start off with, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. I want to give a big shout out to the uh, Invention Convention over at Seagull Elementary, which was last week. A uh, big group of kids, after months of hard work and preparation, they had a big day at the Invention Convention. And all those kids, whether they brought home an award or not, we do want to give them a shout out and then tell them they did an incredible job. We love watching all the little eagles shine. So way to go, Team Seagull. And I actually had this, uh, somebody at the event caught this picture of uh, Miss Sp- Mrs. Spencer, who's the principal over there at Seagull. And... Uh, here I'm gonna they sent in a quote to go with it It said who has the best principal ever we do miss Spencer has always been so supportive of our teachers and students um, participating in the invention convention we appreciate her always wanted to be part of this event and all the events and loved her being there to cheer on the students so awesome job and thank you miss Spencer um, and to also the person that sent me in that video because that was or that picture because that was actually sent in anonymous but uh, moving on from there we've got this one right here we got the Stewart's Creek girls basketball uh, brings home the first district title actually in the school's history this uh, past weekend so congratulations Stewart's Creek Um, it was since 2003 when the school opened this was their first district title they beat out Smyrna and Cane Ridge and they uh, start in the regionals this Friday so good luck to you girls go kick some ass yeah so uh, that's awesome but uh, moving on from there we've got this one right here I just want to give a shout out Smyrna honors uh, the uh, excuse me 2021 lifetime service and uh, Young Leader uh, Award winners, uh, Mike Moss is on the left, uh, Smyrna Park and Rec, and Rec Director uh, announced Carolyn Peebles as the 2021 Kenneth Kuhn Victory Lifetime Service Award winner, and Rachel Johnson and Holly Pendergrass. Sorry, Holly is not pictured in this uh, picture. She was unable to make it. So, Holly, if you're listening or somebody knows her, send me in a picture, and I'll post that as well. But um, Rachel Johnson on the right in the middle was the 2021 uh, Young Leader Award winner, and all three of them were uh, noticed um, – honored at the event in Smyrna this past week and then also there were several other award winners as well which um, by the way with that being said uh, once I'm done with this broadcast I'm going to go through in the comments and put a comment with all links to all of the articles and uh, uh, stories that we discuss here so if you want more information or like in that particular instance if you want a list of all the award winners you can go back and see them all right on there so um, but this one this one's probably one of my favorite ones coming up this guy right here Mr. Sam Trout. He was the Seagull Choir February Student of the Month. Uh, congrats on that, Sam. Uh, he is a part of the Seagull High uh, Chess Club and the Single Band Drumline. He also sings baritone in the Chamber Choir and is a junior at Seagull High. So 
Great job, Sam. And also, Sam, something we have in common here. I see you. Um, you're on the chess club. I was a little known fact about yours truly. I was the uh, New Mexico State chess champion when I was like 12 years old. I played in the chess team and <laughs> when I was much younger. And actually, it was kind of by happenstance that the, the chess coach was in my math class and set up a game, and we ended up playing, and I beat him. And he set up a for me to go to a chess tournament. I didn't even know they had such things. And uh, next thing you know, I won the whole thing. So I was a New Mexico State chess champion, go figure. So, all right, well, moving on from there, we got this group right here. Definitely a big thank you shout out to uh, Walnut House and Maynut, uh, <laughs> Maynut, Walnut House and Mayday Brewery and all the volunteers that came out this past weekend. They helped clean up uh, 910 pounds of litter that was in the Lytle Creek. So big clean up there this weekend. Thank you guys for that. That is wonderful. So I have a link again coming up for that all included. And then uh, this one moving on, we've got right here. It was actually Central uh, Magnet students presented a driving safety campaign, which is pretty cool, um, where students, uh, they gave a presentation for a project called Be in the Zone, which is intended to bring uh, safety awareness to teen drivers, where they gave a bunch of suggestions to the panel of people watching. And as part of the project, uh, Central it will also be holding a uh, mock crash event in April, which will be uh, features simulated car crash, uh, emergency responders, including life flight helicopter landing at the scene, and juniors and seniors are going to participate as spectators. So, and just uh, food for thought for those of you who've never seen one of those mock crash events, uh, they're pretty intense actually they look very the one I went to anyway and the pictures I've seen of others they're very realistic I mean they've got like you know the kids all bloodied up and you know it looks like Hollywood style you know effects and everything and they're laying out on the ground showing it's, it's pretty detailed um, and realistic looking as if they were in an accident so um, so when that happens you know for everybody who sends me pictures and don't worry the kids are okay so there you go but uh, moving on from there this is one we got a lot of questions about when we actually posted this last week, so just an update on it. Uh, here is uh, the, uh, pu there's a public meeting scheduled uh, on the connection of River Rock Boulevard to Beasy Road. The city of Murfreesboro is holding the, the free public informational meeting at Case and Lane Elementary School Cafeteria uh, from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. on March 1st, which is uh, 1330 Case and Lane. And then, but this is an open free meeting for those that want to learn more about the connection from Beasy Road to uh, River Rock. And so... Uh, for those, if you don't know where that's at, BZ Road is, is the road that runs alongside uh, Costco and the new Costco development that goes all the way down past um, the Outpost Armory towards Lazy Day RV. And then they're talking about cutting through up next to the Greenway there and going all the way to um, uh, River Rock. So that's an open information. Anybody wants to go to that. Now, we posted this one last week, and I got tons and tons and tons of messages on this because a lot of people are wondering what the heck was going on. Uh, there was a propane tank explosion. Um, Excuse me. Wednesday, last Wednesday, about 10:45 ish at night, uh, under the old Salem Road Bridge, and I got a lot of messages about this one when it happened. But the propane tank exploded uh, under the bridge, like I said. But thankfully, there were no injuries. Uh, however, it did blow out a bunch of the windows at Clearview Apartments, which was nearby, and there was a homeless gentleman who uh, his tent and belongings were damaged as well, who lived close by. But no other injuries or anything like that. And the firefighters were on the scene very quickly and put out the fire to care of that so uh, now moving on to the final story which is just such a, a heartwarming story of a mother-son business uh, which unfortunately didn't go as planned because Murfreesboro police raided their apartment and seized a whole bunch of drugs guns over $9,100 in cash and a 2013 Toyota pickup so mother and son combo was Martina and what have we got here? Luis Martinez. There we go. But you can see on the table, uh, lots of guns, lots of drugs, paraphernalia, all, ki all kinds of stuff. You can see it all there. But like I said, there's a link in the comments below to the full story, and you can see all the details about that and everything that was seized and whatnot. That's a pretty big, long article. So... Um, so there you go. There's your update for today. Uh, just wanted to keep it a little short. We had a lot of stories that were submitted over the weekend, but I wanted to test this out and see what y'all thought. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the format. If you like it, dislike it, things we could do different. Well, I would appreciate the constructive criticism. Um, and you can always, again, send us all your stories if you have anything uh, to the Facebook pages. You can go to murfreesboro.com. The Contact Us button comes straight to me directly. Um, you can send it to john at murfreesboro.com. Lots of ways to get us this information. So we're going to start doing these more often for you to get more news updates out there to you. So hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. I really appreciate it. And as always, go put a smile on somebody's face today. I appreciate you all watching. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.